shows good muscling over his hips and loins. I would like to see him a little bit better in his head for a half rabium. Uh, um, he's a little bit under himself. Uh, front legs are pretty good. Uh, he's got good lines on, on the, from shoulder to heel. Uh, left leg turns out just a little bit. Nice pleasant eye, good, good between his ears. A little bit thick in his muzzle, but uh, basically overall in his tone, muscle tone is very good. Uh, back hip, as you can see, uh, pretty good angulation with his hocks. Uh, I would like to see uh, him turned in just a little bit more on the right front foot, but it's not uh, from a cow hock situation. It's not, it doesn't look like it impedes his movement at all. Uh, tail carriage is, is again down good. Here's the thing that comes up with this horse is that he's a little bit straight in his shoulder, uh, thick in his throat latch for uh, the half Arabian. Uh, I would like to see him a little bit better across his hips. Uh, he slopes off pretty good for, for that, but that doesn't bother me. Um, he's, he walks through pretty good. You'll see a little bit of a hitch uh, left front, but all in all, pretty good, pretty good movement. Okay, horse number two, uh, nice long neck. Yeah, again, you have a straight shoulder. Uh, he's a little bit long in his back, but not, not overly. I would like to see a lot more hip on this horse, uh, a little bit camped out behind. Uh, look better than in his head than the first horse, obviously. Nice pleasant between his ears, uh, nice big eyes on him, muzzles a little bit smaller. Front legs are in pretty good shape. Um, I would like to eat toes in just a little bit, but not too bad. This horse from a structural standpoint, maybe not as correct as the other horse, but a little bit more as a half rate. Rear end, same thing. Needs more muscling through his loins and hips. Uh, Gaskin muscles are pretty good, but a little bit cow hock, but not too bad. Uh, here again, nice long neck. Uh, as you can see, throat latch is a little bit better. Lines, what I would say, line, conformational lines will line up on this horse a little bit more. He looks like this horse looks like more of an English or hunter type. Okay, is it, and as you see this horse move away, uh, a little bit more animated, carries himself a little bit better. But again, he's camped out behind. I would like to see him move up underneath himself a lot more. Horse number three here, a little more compact horse. Uh, probably with the circles and conformation, lines up a little bit better. Needs a better head on him. Um, uh, I would like to see better lines on his neck. Uh, match up to the top of the neck as a bottom part of the neck. Uh, legs don't look so bad from this angle. He's a little bit offset in one cannon on the right side, but uh, all in all, not, not too bad. Muscling's not, not all that bad. Uh, he's pretty good on his hocks. Do, uh, the thing that you want to look at, do, does his hocks line up with his knees or is he above his knees? And this horse is a little bit above his knees as opposed to what I'm talking about, his, his hocks are higher than his knees. See this horse is back at the knee and if you show it from a side view, you would be able to see it if you were standing in front of him in a live shot. If you look at the angulation on this horse's hip and if you drop the line down from his tail, point of his hip down through his hocks, they line up pretty good. He's not out behind himself, so that's a good point. I think this horse is straightening his shoulder and could be a lot better in his head. Not, not a displeasing walk. A little bit draggy in his hocks right there in his movement. Uh, doesn't show a lot of stride and does not replace his feet very well. This horse shows a lot of depth in his heart girth. Uh, and the reason he shows a lot of depth in his heart goes he's got good muscling across there. Also, he has a nice uh, slope to his shoulder. His hips match up again over his hocks, not out, not camped out behind a little bit. Uh, back at the knee, if you will. Left leg turns out on him here. Uh, it's not bad. Uh, concern to me, again, you're looking at a gilding. Is he serviceably sound? Yes. A little bit long in the head. Uh, I'd like to see his eyes a little bit wider set and bigger. Back end's not too bad. Right side's camped out just a little bit, and you, and you can see his hocks coming down the back, and, and the right leg pushes out just here. It's a little bit more cow hock than the others. Would I like to see a better head on this horse? Yes. Uh, he's clean through his throat latch. 
the lines if you want to do conformational lines on him. Below neckline and the top neckline uh, are very, very good. Nice walk. If you're looking at him, he replaces his feet very well. Same thing at the trot. And that's what makes him tractable. But also, if you watch that horse, he does move through himself very well. Don't judge confirmation until you see some of them move. When you're watching them trot away from you, and it's imperative that we try, and I try to teach this with everybody at the judges school, we want to try to see a horse replace his feet. And that's a key figure in, in something, and it takes an eye, and it takes your eye a little bit of time to train that. But when a horse can replace his feet or overstride just a little bit, he's usually true with his confirmation and his movement.